Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to make an Italo house beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I start by setting the project tempo to an up-tempo 135 beats per minute, and the key to A-flat major. I'm going to begin by composing a classic house-style beat. So I add a virtual instrument track and set it to drums, drum pads, 909 kit. I add kicks on every beat, with claps on every other beat, and open hats between each beat. I want a swung closed hat, so I set the view grid size parameter to 132nd and add a closed hat just before the third open hat. I then set view grid size back to smart. I duplicate this bar out for the rest of the four bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I'd like to beef up these beats a touch, so in the effects panel I add a Dynamics BL1176 compressor effect. To give myself more headroom to add other elements, I turn this track down to minus 2 dB. I'd like to add some live percussion to this drum machine beat, so I open up BandLab Sounds, select the Loops tab, and enter Shaker into the text search field. I like the sound of John Sterk's Shaker's 01, so I drag it into the project. I use the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip to loop this out for 4 bars. I set this track to minus 10.7 dB. Now it's time for some music. A common element in Italo house tracks is an uplifting piano line. So I add a new virtual instrument track, and leave it on the default grand piano instrument. For this I compose a rhythmic chord progression that alternates between the root notes and the chords an octave up, and this plays A flat major, E flat minor, and D flat major. I'd like to have a variation on the piano part when it plays for the second time. So I duplicate the clip, and for the final two chords, I transpose the root notes of the chord up an octave, putting them in the first inversion. This makes the second version feel even more uplifting. I also want to add some effects for the piano. I add a modulation stereo chorus effect and set the depth to 26%. Then I add a reverb studio reverb. I set the mix to 2.2 and the size to 2.6. I also add a BL1176 compressor and set the track's volume to minus 11.2 dB to balance it with the other elements. Now it's time to add a bass line. I'd like to use a classic Yamaha DX7 style bass for this, so I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to basses, synth basses, Lately bass. This part alternates between the root notes of the chords and A flat on the octave up. I set this track to minus 5.5 dB. I like this sound, 
but it doesn't have the low end energy I want. So I duplicate the track by right clicking the track header and selecting duplicate track. I set this new version to bases, synth bases, moog bass. I set this track's volume to minus 9.2 dB. Next I want to add a lead line. For this I select keyboards, synth leads, two saw detune. I set this track to minus 5.9 dB. This part plays a simple melody that hits the A flat, D flat, and E flat. To give this sound a more organic feel, I add a modulation phase 72 effect. I also add a delay filter echo. With the mix set to 21%. And the delay set to 222 milliseconds. Italo House tracks often use vocal samples, so that's what I'm going to add next. In BandLab Sounds, I clear the text search field, set the instrument filter to voice, and the genre filter to electronic. I like the texture of Vox MEDM G128 4 bar, so I drag it into the project. I'd like it to play syncopated, so I drag it between the beats. I add a phase 72 effect, and I set this track to minus 10.3 dB. I'd like a more melodic vocal sample. I change the genre filter to hip hop slash track, and drag Trap Pop Light Instrumental 04 into the project. I truncate the start of the sample so that there's no pause before the start of the vocal. For this, I add a BL1176 compressor and set the track to minus 1.2 dB. Now I'd like a more ravey sound bite. In the Packs tab, I enter Rave into the text search field and open 90s Rave. I set the instrument filter to voice and drag 9R142 F sharp minor Vox Go 4 bar into the project. Go! I only want to use the first Go of the sample, so I truncate it using the handle at the bottom right hand corner of the clip. I place this sample between the first and second beat and duplicate it out for the whole sequence. I set this track to minus 10.3 dB. I've got quite a few elements in the track now, but I'd like to add a few extras to make arranging the track easier. The first of these is adding a tension string. I add an instrument track and set it to strings, string orchestra. This plays a sustained note on an A-flat. I add a studio reverb. With a mix of 2.4. And a size of 4.5. I set this track to minus 15.2 dB. I want a riser to help transition between sections, so in BandLab Sounds, I select the Loops tab and enter Riser. I drag Speeding Riser into the project. I set this track to minus 5.9 dB.
I'd also like a drum fill, so I search for fill. I drag Dark Fill 02 into the project, positioning it so that the crash plays at the start of the next section. I set this track's volume to plus 2.6 dB. For the arrangement, I start with the 909 and the syncopated choir vocal. Then the lead line and shaker comes in. Then the bass and go sample come in. The string and riser effect build anticipation before the breakdown. Here the piano kicks in. This is joined by the string, melodic vocal, and shaker. Then the beats and bass drop. The choir comes back in. The melodic vocal swaps out for the go sample. Here we lose the piano, and the lead returns. Now the piano and lead play simultaneously. The piano drops out again, and the choir vocal returns. For the outro, it's just the choir vocal and the beats. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!